are taking a look at the court here at Northside Sports Gym as we get you ready for the skills competition that's coming up. It's going to be a skills competition followed by the three-point contest. And right now, I believe members of San Antonio Sports are out there explaining the rules to the young men and women that are on the court that are going to take part in the skills challenge. And there you see Ariana Robertson, who we just interviewed live a few moments ago with her brother, Andre Robertson. So that was really cool to talk to those two and catch up. I haven't had a chance to talk to Dre in quite some time. So I'll tell you what, it's almost time for the San Antonio Sports All-Star Show to start off their skills competition and three-point shooting. It's certainly going to be a lot of fun to watch, Mary. Yes, it is. And today, one senior has a little bit more on her mind as she participates in another special moment in her final semester as a senior. Families and support systems are out here today supporting the All-Stars in the first ever San Antonio Sports All-Star Basketball game. For Lise Debbie Hernandez, well, she lost her mom to cancer two years ago. Our Nick Mantis spoke with Debbie about how special this moment would have had, would have meant to her. You don't mind me asking you a personal question. When it comes to having lost your mom, how exciting would it be for her to have an opportunity to see you have made this team? Um, honestly, it's such like a blessing. Like for because my mom, one of my biggest supporters, um, she was always there for me on and off the court. Um, it's just like this is something that she's probably dreamed of, and like I know she's watching me. I know she's cheering me on. But it's like it's such an amazing feeling to be a part of that and the three-point contest because she's always like keep shooting keep shooting and it's like I'm doing it for her and like this is all for her what would she be saying right now she, she didn't even know basketball like she was just like a you do you but if I messed up one time it's like she would leave the gym she would say she, she would make sure I saw her too like she'd make eye contact with me then leave and then all of a sudden I go like start dropping all these points and everything and then she wants to come back and then she's like I just have to leave I just have to leave and it's just, it was funny it was it was a cool thing and when you think about you know, taking the court with this all-star game. Is there moments that you're going to, you know, share with her? In, in oh, of course, of course, yeah. There's, It's always a moment with her. I mean, before every game, she's someone that I'm like, this is for her. Like, every game, it's like, my mom, my mom. Like, that's all I'm thinking about. Oh, that is very awesome to hear, Larry. Yes. All right, so players have been getting ready for the skills challenge and the three-point competition. But before we get to those contests, we need to tell you the format and the rules and how it's going to work. Mary, tell us about the competition. Yes, we need to make sure we have this right. All right, it's a bracket-style event for the boys and girls. When the buzzer goes off, the two players facing each other will dribble through obstacles, then chest pass through a target, attempt to lay up or dunk, then go back down the court to attempt a three-pointer. The first one to make it wins. Check out, that was our mascot Mike out there having a good time. <laughs> All right, here's the uh, San Antonio Sports All-Star Sunday Skills Challenge. The boys, you have Julian Duper Twee out of Lee versus Devin McLeod from Veterans Memorial. Then you have Marcus Williams from Taft taking on Caleb Nash out of Steel, Mary. And for the girls participating in the Skills Challenge, Abigail Smith out of Bernie will go head-to-head -head with Nolani Agel from Steel. Then it's Ariana Robertson from Clark versus Kalissa Severe from Lytle. All right, seems like it's pretty similar to the skills competition we see in the NBA All-Star game. So that has to be exciting doing the same obstacle course the pros go through. And now, Mary, what about the three-point contest? All right, the three-point contest has 10 participants, five boys and five girls. There's only one overall winner in this one. In the skills competition, we, we will have a boys winner and a girls winner. Now, in the three point contest there are five bowls at five locations and the first four baskets made are worth one point the fifth and final ball from each rack is worth two points and the two highest scores will face off in the championship round and here's the boys taking part in the three-point contest luke bledsoe from o'connor matthew hale out of clemens zaire julio vet from san marcos evan moreno from madison and logan peoples out of lee and competing for the girls in the three-point contest avery aaron out of bernie clark's cameron griffin Fredericksburg's Taylor Grona, Debbie Hernandez out of Lee, and Seguin's Desiree Zuniga. 
All right, up next is the skills competition and the three-point shootout contest between the uh, the girls will take the court and the boys will take the court. Of course, for that, then we'll see who walks away the winner in the very first contest right here in San Antonio. We will be right back, everybody, after the break. And a very pleasant, good Sunday afternoon. Gabe Farias and Jenny Carnes, the CEO of San Antonio Sports here live as we get ready for San Antonio Sports All-Star Basketball Skills Challenge and three-point contest right here on KSED 12. Jenny, thank you so very much for taking the time to join us and for helping put this fantastic event together that just highlights the absolute good and great what's going on in high school basketball here in greater San Antonio. Gabe, I am so excited to be here. Really? First time doing this. I'm a huge basketball fan. This has been a, a dream of ours to do for a number of years. You know, San Antonio Sports has been hosting the high school all-star football game for a number of years. Uh, that follows the All-American Bowl in the Alamo Dome in January and Years back, um, all of the athletic directors in the area started asking us, when are we going to roll this? Incarnate word, you played tennis and you played college basketball. So it it, it's hard to play one sport. I was a two-sport star in college. Believe it or not, you and I have a lot in common. You're just way more talented and way smarter than I'll ever be. Uh, I was a college football player and a college baseball player. No I kidding. know how hard. Wow, you you sound really shocked. Like, really? You look like you're going to ask me really like five times. No, you just didn't mention that in yeah, your I, intro earlier before <laughs> yes, we came live on air. But, so where'd you go to school? Uh, at Kemper College in Missouri and at Tarleton State. But you and I also are um, UIW alums. We have that in common. There. Yeah, so we're going down to the court as we get ready for our boys skills challenge they're going to be kicking things off i believe and boy we've got some fantastic athletes jenny that are a part of this uh you know julian uh Departi, i had to make sure i said the right very french sounding name of course now san antonio is like i don't know paris part two first with tony parker now with victor Wembanyama. so uh from lee high school he's an all district second teamer devin mcleod from veterans memorial just a fantastic season for devin marcus white and caleb nash just a great group of young men participating in the skills challenge we've got some great talent um i love that we're doing the skills challenge between our two sessions we saw two fantastic competitive games in our first session uh, for our girls one through 4a and of course boys one through 4a so i'm loving this well you know mistake number one for gabe it's actually the women who are starting these off so oh, let's introduce the women yeah, so abby smith from bernie noelani agel from steel uh boy one of the, uh, the one of the greatest athletes i think to ever come out of san antonio ariana Ro Ro robertson from clark and calissa Sevier is here, and, and boy, a good, a great group of young athletes down there on the, the women's side, too. You know, we're going to be watching Ariana um, on national TV in yeah. a year during March Madness, going to Duke. Um, she's a standout player from San Antonio and could not be more proud of what she's accomplished here, and we look forward to her future in yes. college. So right quick, let's run down the rules as we get ready for Abby Smith and Noelani Agel. The buzzer's going to go off. They're going to have to swerve through the uh, markers there on the court. Once they do that, uh, they're going to attempt a chess pass as we start. And they get three attempts for the chess pass. Okay, look at that. So attempt one for the chess pass. A little off the mark there. And both of them Ooh. are through. And it looks like... Now we've got a layup on the other end. And we are going to be tied as we head. And then the first one to hit a three-pointer is going to win this round. So here we go. Three-point attempt one. Oh, yes. off the glass. For Abby Smith. Look at that. Did she call that game? I think she called glass. I heard it all the way up here. So Abby Smith from Bernie, who actually played in the first game today. What was her time? I didn't catch it. That was pretty fast. Yeah, so Abby Smith moves on to the second round. But, uh, boy, Noelani, she missed a free, she missed the layup, and that's literally what cost her because Abby missed the first pass. So funny how all sports and everything that we do is an absolute measurement of minutes and seconds. Okay, so our second group is going to be Ariana Robertson, and you were talking about, you know, she's a Duke commit. She's going to be playing a lot on national television. She and her sister did some great things, state champions. She takes on Calissa Sevier. Here we go from Lytle High School. They've got to make the pass. Pass one. Ariana misses her pass. Ooh. This is her second pass. Ooh, she oh, she missed all her. three. Let's see if she can catch up here. 
So look out as Kalissa with the potential shock of the skills. Oh, Boom. wow. Kalissa. Wow. Makes quick work of it out there. Boy, from Lytle High School. How about that? You, you got to so, love the small high schools representing. So Kalissa will be taking on Abby Smith, Abigail Smith from Bernie High School. You got a three and a four a going on in the in the championship. How about that? I think this is going to be close. I think so too. Are they? Uh, now that they're warmed up, they know how the uh, the course works. Well, I think they may have to take a break. I think the boys now are going to come out. Our third member of the team is Nick Mantis. We'll be going to Nick for interviews here in a little bit. But right now, we're going to the boys and. From Legacy High School, Julian Departi, and from Veterans Memorial, Devin McLeod. Both of them make good work. Both oh. of them get through quickly. As they go down, lay up, and lay in. Gonna come down to the three. This one's gonna be close. Devin McLeod, oh. boom. From Veterans Memorial, Devin McLeod, a six foot two, 205 pound guard. First team all district. Three he, for three. He advances. Boy, I, how quickly before I cramp up if I tried this course, JD? Just asking you. Maybe we should go head to head when I, they're done. That would be great, right? All right, second round, Marcus White taking on Caleb Nash. Marcus out of Taft High School. Five foot nine, 150 pound guard. And Caleb Nash out of Steel. A guard as well. Boy, these guys are quick. Look at that. First pass. Ooh, oh, boy. Pass. Both, Both of them missed. Oh, so Marcus having some trouble. Right now, Caleb has the upper hand as he goes down to try and knock down the three to advance. No. Look at that. Marcus Williams advances despite missing, if I am not mistaken, all three passes. He missed all three. What happens there? Does he does he get um, points counted against him? I, I'm not sure. You're the CEO of San Antonio <laughs> Sports. I, I'm going to defer to you. I'm guessing he moves on. I, I thought it was. I think so. I think it's you're, you just slow down. You're missing passes. You slow down. All right, so. Jenny, that was a good first go at this. We're going to take a break right now. When we come back, we've got some finals action for the boys and the girls' skills challenge. It's the San Antonio Sports All-Star Basketball Skills Challenge and three-point contest right here on KSET 12. All right, welcome back to San Antonio Sports All-Star Basketball Skills Challenge three-point contest right here on KSET 12. Gabe Farias and Jenny Karn, CEO of San Antonio Sports. Jenny, we are ready for the finals right now of the girls challenge. I'm excited about this one. Yeah, absolutely. Abby Smith and Kalissa Severe from- Both played in the uh, All-Star game earlier. Yeah, and- Got to think if they're, wonder if their legs are a little bit tired. We talked about that, but you also talked about the adrenaline first Ooh, pass. both well, nailed the pass. Oh, forgot, forgot the ball. What? Here she comes for a layup. So here comes Kalissa Severe with the layup that's in. I could have sworn that Abby made her first pass. She did, but she fumbled the ball. Oh, missed. Come down to the three-pointer at the buzzer. Oh, oh, and it is Kalissa Severe on her second attempt. And Kalissa is the Girl Skills Challenge champion. We're going to throw it down. Antonio Sports All-Star Skills Challenge. Kalissa, I know you don't like interviews, so we'll make this quick. How exciting was an experience like this and getting to play in this Skills Challenge? It was very exciting to show off my, uh, what I have and my talents. So. <laughs> and when it comes to... Uh, <laughs> Take a breath, take a breath. I'll make it a long ant question. When you think about the experience you have of not just being able to play in the All-Star game earlier, but in the skills challenge, being able to represent Lytle on such a big stage, how much pride do you have, not just in your community, but your team when it comes to playing at such a big stage like this? Uh, hold on. <laughs> how, how much fun was today? Oh, it was really fun. <laughs> Calissa Severs, thank you for your time. Guys, we'll send it back to you, up to you. Your skills challenge winner, Calissa Severe out of Lytle. All right, Calissa Severe is our girls skills challenge winner. And wow, what a I love that um, our winners representing the small schools from around the area, Lytle High School. You got to love it. And we've got the women, excuse me, the men finals right now. Devin McLeod from Veterans Memorial and Caleb Nash from Steele. Here we go. They're off to a fast start. 
got two missed passes, and we got the third one in. Up and in for Devin McLeod. Coming down to knock this thing down to take it all. Misses his first, going from From way downtown. And Devin McLeod on his second attempt knocks it down. I like the effort there. I I, would have done the same. Love the effort. Devin McLeod from Veterans Memorial is our champion. We're going to throw it down to the court right now for his interview with Nick Mantis from KSET 12. Nick. Guys, I'm joined by our skills challenge in the men's division, Devin McLeod at a Veterans Memorial. Devin, when it came to your mindset coming into the skills challenge, was there any way you kind of prepared for this? How, how do you get ready for something like this? Uh, I was just confident because I work hard. It's just little details, little skills. Well, you were able to put your skills on display like this in such a special moment, not just for you, but for, for Veterans Memorial. How much pride or, or bragging rights will you go back to your guys as you get ready to play in a game in a couple more hours to say, hey, guys, I already have a skills championship. I don't need to worry about this game. Uh, I'm, I'm ready to play. Ready to play a game later. All right. Well, we'll be like excited to see you play in the 5A, 6A game later. But for right now, our skills challenge champion, go ahead and take your award. Ladies and gentlemen, Devin McLeod out of Veterans Memorial. All right. Devin McLeod, the winner of the boys skills challenge. And Jenny, Devin McLeod, Calissa Severe, two great stories this year that are participating tonight. Great start. But I'm ready for my favorite part. The three-point three point shootout. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, the three-point shootout out here at Northside Gym. It's the San Antonio Sports All-Star Basketball Skills Challenge and three-point contest right here on KSAT 12. All right, welcome back to the San Antonio Sports All-Star Basketball Skills Challenge. And now, three-point contest right here on KSAT 12. Gabe Buddy has Nick Mantis on the court. Jenny Carnes from San Antonio Sports, the CEO. Jenny, I am like excited like this. My heart's racing and and I'm not even taking a shot. The three point contest to me is one of the highlights of this event. I've been excited about this day for a long time, but to be honest, this, the next few minutes, this is what I've really been waiting for. I was a three point shooter in college. I I love watching this during NBA All-Star Weekend. We, you know, took took some notes from what they do at that level and we wanted to incorporate that into our our day today. And I think this is going to be really exciting, especially once the girls uh, challenge finishes and the boys challenge finishes, we're going head to head. Uh, Who's the better shooter in the gym today? And I love it because it mirrors what the NBA did, as you were talking about with Steph Curry and Sabrina and SQ, and them going back and forth on who was a better shooter. And you would think anybody against Steph Curry, it's an impossibility, and she came so close. I think she should have. She could have beat him last year had they done that competition this year. She would have. She she was on fire yeah. two years ago. I think she only missed two three pointers out of however many shots they take. Incredible shooter. I'd like to see Caitlin Clark in that next year. I was just about to say. Now that she's declared for the draft, we probably will see her go up against Curry next year. All right. Well, we've got the inaugural San Antonio Sports All Star Basketball three point contest, and Jenny, the winner of this, gets the inaugural San Antonio Sports All Star Basketball three point champion label the first one you got to love it doing this for the first time everybody should be so proud just to be a part of this day today all right well all right well this is uh, any any shooters stand out one of the things that that uh, since the boys and the, and the girls are going against each other one of the things that stands out all five of our participants on the girls side have played in or will play in the all-star game at some point today all five of the boys are not do you think that plays a factor in for the young player? I think for the, the girls that played in the earlier game, they're comfortable being down there in the court. They're comfortable with the rim. They're warmed up. So I think they're going to have the advantage. Now, you've got a couple of uh, players down there that won't play until the next game. But, yeah, I think that gives girls the advantage. You think so? I think so. Well, I, I am absolutely excited about this. We've got the three-point contest coming up, folks. Don't go anywhere. San Antonio Sports All-Star Basketball Skills Challenge and three-point contest continues in a moment right here on KSET 12. All right, welcome back. Gabe Farias, Jenny Carnes, Nick Mantis as we return for the San Antonio Sports All-Star Basketball Skills Challenge and now three-point contest right here on KSET 12. Jenny, I'm excited. There's some fantastic shooters that are in this, but again, one of the things I'm going to note, all five of the girls will either have played in or will play in the All-Star game. All five of the boys 
we'll we'll just do this and, and enjoy a lot of great basketball. We'll you see if that makes a difference. You, you say advantage, really, it, it, it's not a wash. I mean, it's so much adrenaline. And you made a point earlier. The girls that played in that first game, it wasn't like they logged in 95% of the minutes because it's a regular game. They they split that right in half. Yeah, all-star minutes. So they should have fresh legs. They should be warmed up, have a feel for the rim. I like that we have a money ball yeah. in this competition, just like the NBA All-Star Weekend. Is Okay, I've got it right there. It's uh, – Avery Aaron from uh, Bernie High School, who played earlier, and like you stated, they get four shots, one point. The money ball is a two-point shot. It is a... And Gabe Avery was our MVP of the 1A through 4A game earlier. She is a fantastic... Off to a slow start. She's got to find her rhythm here. Yeah. There so Avery, again, as Jenny stated, the player of the game and in the first game. And she knocks down the money ball. Knocks down the money ball. That's a two-point ball. Here we go. Off to somewhat of a slow start. Now, Avery's legs may be a little bit tired. She she played some minutes in that game earlier. Fourth shot in, and money she ball. Hits both money balls. She's two for two on the money balls. Look at this. One. Boy, and I'm telling you, you, you play a game earlier, and I don't care how many minutes, Jenny, it just takes a little life out of your legs. Well, when you get to those last two racks, you start to feel it. And that's when you've got to use your legs. Yeah, you see she's coming up short. She's yeah. getting tired. Oh, but she money ball. So and didn't even get to that last rack. Yeah, so we'll see what her score is for Avery Aaron, who was, again, she was the, uh, the the MVP of the first game, so she's leaving with a lot of memories. I'm trying to look where the points are. Somebody's got to be keeping them, right? You would think. All right, so moving forward, let's just keep them ourselves. It's like we're playing the Little League ba the Baseball. Here we go. Our next shooter for the boys now on this side, on the other side of the court from O'Connor is Luke Bledsoe. He's got the second one. Got the third one. Here comes the money ball. And he nails Boom. it. I believe three of four or three of five. One. Oh, he's feeling it. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. He is, he is perfect. He misses the money ball, but he goes four or five on that second rack. Boy, look at that release. Jenny, that's what you want right there. He's got beautiful form. And he looks really relaxed. All right, misses his second money ball. Got 30, uh, 22 seconds remaining. I wonder if he can ask for just a regular basketball for his money ball. Because that's the one he keeps missing. That's the one he keeps missing, yeah. Let's see if he finishes strong here. So it's normally a corner three. It's not an easier shot, but it's a more makeable shot, right? Oh, that last hey, rack was a tough one for him. So an 0-4 in his last rack, but he did have a strong start, Luke Bledsoe. So we'll get the points for Luke. Right now, obviously, by default, he's in first place. Wait, I'm not the smartest. I'm not the smartest pebble in the pond, but he's in first place, right? Because he's the only boy that shot so far. On the boys' side, he on is in first place. Okay, yes. good. We we have established. Gabe, I'm glad you're on top of things yes, here. Yes, there we go. So our second shooter from that corner. Natalie Huff. Yeah, Natalie Huff. From Clark. Well, what a nice stroke also. Now Natalie's gonna be playing in the second game or, or, or the second half of this broadcast. She did make her money ball. Boy, she also has a really pretty stroke. State champion from a couple years ago. What a great win that was for oh, Clark. Know. Really representing San Antonio well. Boy, and, and I got to tell you, when you talk about some great all-time teams in San Antonio, at least on, on the girls' side, I mean, on any side, that's got to be one of the greatest we've ever seen. I think only our second state championship from San Antonio on the girls' side. Yeah, I want to say Judson maybe did it. Judson was Treva. Yeah. yeah, with Treva. Right, is she going to get this last rack? Look at this. It's going to be cool. She's feeling it. Three. She got it oh, off and made it. What a finish. Wow. Talk about coming in clutch there at the end on that last rack. Boy, Natalie Huff. She's actually committed to going to AM Corpus Christi. Boy, again. 
So our next participant, so 22 for Natalie Huff. So I believe this is Matthew Hale from Clemens High School. Six this foot. 155. Guard. Having a little trouble with that first corner rack. He's made his third, going for the money ball. No. Might have to pick up the pace just a bit. You ever try to add in your head? It's incredibly hard. He's got two, three, four, five. All right. Good second rack. Look at this stroke. He's finding his groove. Yeah. There we go. Was that a five for five rack? No, he missed the first one. Five. He's going to have to pick up the pace just a little bit, it looks like. Struggling a bit from that from that corner. Here we go. One. Come on, Matthew. Finish strong here. Well, that corner rack has been trouble for him as he hits the he money ball. The money ball so Matthew Hale. All right, we're going to take a break right now. When we come back, we will continue with this three-point contest. Folks, it's San Antonio Sports All-Star Basketball Skills Challenge and three-point contest right here on KSET 12. All right, welcome back to San Antonio Sports All-Star Basketball as we continue with the three-point contest right here on KSET 12. Gabe Farias, Nick Mantis down there on the side, and Jenny Carnes, the CEO of San Antonio Sports as we continue with this exciting uh, three-point contest. Taylor Grona from Fredericksburg is now on deck, and Jenny, she like... Avery, she uh, played in that first game, but... And 22 is the uh, mark to beat on the girls' side right now. Three. Oh, off to a great start. Three. Okay, so she's three of five on that first rack. Again, Taylor played earlier in the first sub 5A game. Look at that. What a nice stroke. Good stroke. She's going to have to pick... Boy. Having a little trouble with the money ball. Both sides. Boy, she's having Runs trouble. Out of time on yeah. that last rack. And, and again, I wonder if that has to do with the fact that, again, a little earlier she played in that All Star game, and even though. I, I could be wrong. About yeah. That. She had 12 points. So right now, Natalie Huff, boy, she had a she had a nice stroke. Now she is playing in the five and six A game, but she doesn't play till that till a little later this evening. So right now, Natalie Huff is our leader, and now on board is Zaire Yolivet. One from San Marcos High School. Two, three, boys. Boy, look forward. Boy, he, he actually shot the, he uh, shot the money ball, money ball first. Well, everybody has their own strategy. Okay, so you don't have to take the money ball last. No. All right. Especially if you're running out of time, you should take that in the last rack first. Boy, he is he is certainly taking his time with his stroke. He does not have a quick release. He's got a nice release, but it's yeah, he's not going to get through the round here. Having trouble there at the top of the key. Nails that money ball. Zaire, Jolivet, another one drained. He's at about 13 seconds. He's going to have to hurry up. It's going to be tight. It's another money ball. He's yeah, got to beat 14. Come on, Zaire, grab that money ball. Oh, he just misses the money ball. He was one ball short of his rack. Decent showing for Zaire Yolivet. 15 points. 15 points. So right now, that pushes him ahead of Matthew Hale. Now on the other side. So Debbie Hernandez from Legacy High School is now up. She will play. Kind of a 
side uh, side saddle shot. Look out the bunny ball. No. Top of the rack. Anything you notice about her shooting style? Well, like, like you said, it is a little bit of a... a little, little side shot, side, right? Yeah, a little side shot. Looks like she's doing okay on time. She's got a... Yeah, she's got a good release there. See, from here it looks... See, I guess from the side you couldn't really tell, but from when you stand around the line of shot of the, of the shot, look at this. She's got time to finish the rack. That's 14 for Debbie. All right. And there's one Natalie, more. Natalie, still the one to beat at this point. Natalie Huff from Clark High School. You know what? I think we have a mistake. I believe it was Cameron Griffin from Clark High School, not Natalie Huff. So we're shooting from the other side right now. We'll clarify that here in just a moment. You were right, Gabe. Cameron Griffin, we had the wrong name on our sheet here. With 21 points from Clark High School. So I believe this is Evan Moreno from Madison High School right now. Having a little trouble out of the gate. Did sink that one. One. Boy, and I know these guys had a chance to warm up. But boy, what kind of pressure is this to just come in straight up, not a lot of practice, and just go out there and shoot these shots? Yeah, coming in a little cold. And if this is a gym you haven't played in before, not easy. Yeah, he struggled. Yeah, so Evan Moreno did struggle. Seven points for Evan Moreno. So right now, Zaire. Jolivet looks like he is in first place. We still need to confirm with Luke Bledsoe because we didn't miss his first score. And right I've now... I've got it from downstairs from uh, O'Connor High School. Luke Bledsoe with 17 points. So he's actually the front in runner the lead, right now. Yes, yeah. on the boys' side. So Luke Bledsoe is the front runner. Right now we've got the final contestant for the girls, Desiree Zuniga from Seguin High School. So Desiree will be playing in the second half of this afternoon's action, having a little trouble again out of the gate. And she's going to have to pick up the pace. Yeah, she's got to beat Cameron Griffin's score of 22. There we go. Top of the key, boom. Boy, I am amazed. I, I don't think I can make it halfway there at my age. I don't think you could either, Gabe. Wow. <laughs> Jen, eh? Somebody talked to you like Forrest Gump in the past. I'm sure they have, right? They, they've had to. Your name is Jenny, for Christ's sakes. Here we go. Another shot. No. Oh, she's going to run out of time. The Come money on, ball. Desiree. Get a few off here. Desiree Zuniga. So Desiree Zuniga, so, yeah, so six for Desiree. So right now it looks like Natalie, excuse me, Cameron Griffin. Logan! All right, so we got the... Our final boy shooter. Yeah, our final boy shooter, Logan Peoples from Legacy High School. Lee High School, check that. Here we go, and away we go. So Logan, boy, he's got a high shot. Really likes getting it up in the air, doesn't he? Goes 0 for 5 on his first rack. And again, he's the last one to go. That's got to be a complete disadvantage. Or an advantage, because you know who you've got to beat. Yeah. He's got to get hot, though. He struggled on his first two racks. Yeah. 
He's got a nice truck though, doesn't he? He does. But you're right. It's it's high arching. It's taking a little bit too much time. Well, he's gotten hot on this rack. He probably has to go pretty much. Five for five here, five but I don't five. think he's going to get them off. And I don't think he's going to get them off, yeah. So Logan Peoples from Legacy High School with 11. And it looked like Luke Bledso is going to be the boys' winner, and the girls' winner is going to be Cameron Griffin. So those are going to be, they're going to be going up against each other for the right to earn the title of the inaugural San Antonio Sports All-Star Basketball three-point champion. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we will see who that champion is. Folks, you are watching the San Antonio Sports All-Star Basketball Skills Challenge and three-point contest right here on KSET 12. All right, folks, welcome back to the San Antonio Sports All-Star Basketball three-point contest championship. Gabe Farias, Jenny Carnes from San Antonio Sports. Nick Mantis down there on the court. Jenny, we've, we've got our two competitors, Luke Bledsoe from O'Connor and Cameron Griffin from Clark. The moment we've been waiting for. That's it. Are the girls going to take it or will the boys in the inaugural? Well, and I'll tell you what, if you base it off of that first round, boy, Cameron really got off to a, a, a start. She is the leading scorer after that first round with 22 points. But let's see if she like can the, keep the momentum. Looks like the NBA. That score is out the window. That's we start right. all over. Here we go. That's a good start. And how fitting also. Oh, she missed her first money ball. That she's having a little trouble on those money balls. That's what got her to the championship yep. round. Oh, she's finding a rhythm at the top of the key. Boy, she has got a great shot. She really does. Again, talking about the dominance of this Clark program, boy, it is just, uh, it has been as good as any we've seen in a while. So her last rack. Is she gonna get them all off? Two. Here we go. Oh, not finished though. She went 0 for 5 on the money balls, and that may, that may hurt her. Yeah. So a score of 12 for Cameron Griffin. She's going up against fellow Northside ISD student Luke Bledsoe out of O'Connor. We'll see what Luke. Luke started the first round with 17 points. I'm going to say a little pressure on Luke right now. I could be wrong. A little bit, going last. So this and you know, the, the guys, they don't want to lose to the girls. So there is a little pressure on him. But I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I'm not right? Seeing it yet. Look at that smooth stroke. Two, three, four. Boy, that oh. is that is the start you want for Luke Bledsoe. Five for five on his first rack. Oh boy. He's got a little fadeaway action. Yeah, I he's, like it. He's got, that, that right there is a confident stroke. Well, Janie, great, I think we already have a winner yeah, here. Great trajectory, great quick release. He might be the best shooter in, in at least from a style from a style standpoint. Boy, he's got a great form. Just from fundamentals and form, you're exactly right, Gabe. Maybe not as good as me, but pretty good. I have to shoot him granny style. Just to get him in the ring. Look at this. So Luke Bledsoe with a strong finish. We'll see what his score is, but I'm pretty sure that's our inaugural. So with a score of 15, Luke Bledsoe defeats Cameron Griffin. It was close, though. It was a lot closer than it appeared, but Luke Bledsoe, our inaugural San Antonio sports Cameron, champion. Come on in, come on in. Nick Mantis, take it away. Cameron Griffin, 12. Luke Bledsoe, 15. Luke Bledsoe out of O'Connor High School. Our first ever three-point challenge winner. Let's give a big hand again for both competitors on both sides. Congratulations to both sides, guys. We're gonna have a chat with both of you real quick. We'll start with you, Cameron. When it comes to that first round, 21 points, what was going through your head as you just saw bucket after bucket going through? 
Um, honestly, I'm not really supposed to be here, so I was just my teammate standing over there with Tori CL, so I just kind of looked at her and told her I need to shoot well. So. <laughs> you guys also have an opportunity of knowing this gym really well. Was that kind of a little bit more feeling of being comfortable getting that 21 points in that first round? A little bit. I'm a little more familiar with these baskets, so it helped a little. One more time for Cameron Griffin, ladies and gentlemen. And to our three-point champion for the inaugural San Antonio Sports three-point challenge, when you think about everything that went into your 17 points in the first round and then 15 points in the second round, Mr. Luke Letso, how fun was an experience like this? Uh, I mean, it was really fun. Uh, there's a lot of good shooters here, great shooters. Um, so I was just honored to be part of this uh, three-point competition. You going through that first round, you get 17 points. The rest of the guys were struggling a little bit. What was going through your mind as you just kind of see the rest of the competition not being able to add up to that 17 points you had in that first round? I mean, a little surprising because I know these guys are great shooters. Um, but yeah, I'm just happy it went my way. Now you get a nice little shiny trophy here. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big old congratulations to Mr. Luke Bletso with 15 points in the final round as your three-point champion. He is actually the inaugural San Antonio Sports All-Star Basketball three-point champion, Luke Bledsoe, with 15 points. Both performers, Luke and Cameron, what a great job. Great performance. Uh, I love that we're doing this, and this will only get better every year. It's going to get bigger and better. Uh, Jenny, thank you so very much for your team, all of the efforts that you guys put in to not only pro pro uh, promoting high school basketball, but just sports in this region. It is so wonderfully appreciated. This is an honor for San Antonio sports to get to do for these young athletes and give them one more chance to play. Uh, we love doing this, and it's a big part of our mission, especially to do the inaugural basketball game during our 40th anniversary year of San Antonio sports. We're very proud of this day and this effort by our team. Awesome. Thank you so very much for Jenny Carnes and Nick Mantis down there on the court. I'm Gabe Farias saying so long from Northside for right now as we throw it to the folks over at KSET 12 News. Don't forget 6 p.m. we got another game coming up.